Hello, my name is Stephen Holm and I'm with Home Grounds, and today we're talking about espresso drinks. What are they? What are all the differences between them? And which ones might you want to try or possibly make at home? So let's dive right into it. So to start, let's talk about espresso because it's gonna be the base of all the recipes we talk about today. There can be a lot of debate on what espresso is, but essentially espresso is made using an espresso machine, and that machine is taking really finely ground coffee and using pressure to brew it and making a really small, strong cup of coffee. There is a specialty coffee association definition of espresso, which I will throw up here. That can vary a bit because a lot of coffee shops are playing around with different pressures or water temperatures or whatever, but this will give you a good start. Now a couple things to note, espresso is not a type of coffee or coffee blend. If you are buying an espresso blend from a coffee shop or a roaster, that is just coffee that they have roasted and they have tested that they found works well for espresso. Typically coffee shops will serve espresso with a spoon that is in order to stir the drink and incorporate the crema or the foam on top with the rest of the beverage. You may also get a side of sparkling water. That's just gonna be a palate cleanser, drink it before, during, after, whenever you want. Now when you go into a coffee shop and order an espresso, I would say typically most cafes these days are pulling double espressos, and that espresso is usually going to use a ratio of coffee to water of about one to one and a half to one to three. So to put that into numbers, say you use 20 grams of coffee, that means you have 20 grams of coffee going in and between 30 and 60 grams of liquid espresso coming out. Anything shorter than that, so anything in the one to one range, is gonna be what people call a ristretto. Anything longer than that, so in the one to three to one to six range, is going to be a lungo. Those are just gonna taste a little bit different. Try them out, see if you like them, and figure out what your preferences are. There's no right way to drink or order espresso. It's all just based on what you enjoy drinking. So moving on from just espresso, the next easiest thing to make is an Americano. The story of the Americano from at least what I've mostly heard is when American soldiers were overseas and they wanted a drip coffee, like what we would be used to here in the States, but they were only serving espresso over there, so they would add hot water to dilute it to their preferences, hence Americano. So an Americano is just espresso and hot water. We'll stick with saying that it's going to be typically be a double shot of espresso, but the amount of water can vary to however much you'd like. Now let's move on to espresso and steamed milk. The smallest of which is going to be a macchiato, which translates to a mark of milk. Now, if you go into coffee shops these days, you may get a few different things when you order a macchiato. Uh, Starbucks really did a great thing and making the caramel macchiato, which is just a caramel latte. So if you go into a specialty coffee shop and order a macchiato, don't be offended if they ask you, do you mean a traditional or a Starbucks style? Because a traditional macchiato is just espresso and a dollop or a mark of steamed milk. It's going to be really small, about two to three ounces, and they're gonna be served in a little demi tasse, the same thing that you would get with an espresso. Moving up from there, we get a cortado, which is espresso with a little bit more steamed milk. They are typically going to be a one to one to one to three ratio of espresso to steamed milk, meaning the drink's gonna be four to six ounces total with two ounces of that being the espresso. Cortados are gonna be made with microfoam steamed milk, meaning that there shouldn't be a huge head of foam at the top of it, it should all be incorporated pretty well. Cappuccino is espresso, steamed milk. The milk is steamed a little bit more airy, so it's gonna be a lighter drink than you would get with a latte, and it's usually a one to three, to one to five ratio. Some places like to make a cappuccino with 
huge heads of foam on the top and they can sculpt it into cats or something. But usually in specialty coffee shops, you're not gonna get a huge head of light foam on the top. It's gonna be incorporated really well. And then moving on from the cappuccino, we get to the latte, which is going to be espresso and microphone steamed milk. It's gonna start at about eight ounces. So a round of one to four ratio, and then go up to whatever size Starbucks is making these days. And this is where you can get fun and add flavors. You can add chocolate, and that's a mocha latte. You can add honey and cinnamon, cafe miel. You get the idea. A latte is going to be a weaker beverage than all the rest. So it's gonna be a great introduction into the world of espresso if you're brand new. So those are the most popular espresso-based drinks. I know there's more. There's a lot of variations that you can do on just those things that we just talked about, but hopefully this will give you a good guide if you're going into a coffee shop or you're looking to make more drinks at home using your brand new espresso machine. If you have any further questions, please let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps this channel make more videos like this. And until next time, happy brewing.